All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be doing a quick video on one second on how you should gear your characters with accessories. And then I can also quickly brush over links for people who are curious on what the best links for certain characters are. And please, if you guys enjoy the video or this helps you in any way, please hit that like button and subscribe. And if you have any other questions as to how do I farm brushes, how do I farm XP crisps, how do I farm link slot potions, comment down below and I will gladly do a guide on whatever you guys need. I want to do guides on the channel that definitely are really needed for a bunch of new players. So whatever you guys need, I will try to do a video on that. So let's first hop into accessories and prepare to see, oh, it's only on purple. Um, let me go to my inventory actually, it'll be easier to see. So if you go to this, do this, I'm only going to sort by five stars because that's really the only ones that are needed. I have farmed quite a bit of accessories and if you're curious on the way on how to farm accessories, it's a long, tedious, very RNG grind, but it definitely, it, it's really good. Basically, you end up farming at least 3 million points on every single point event. I have 64 million. The way I farm so much is I have four bonus characters. If you have four bonus characters, I, if you have even just three bonus characters, I highly recommend wasting orbs to farm points Get because you get BBS tickets, you get accessory tickets, and you also get a little bit of jewels and stuff per color you want. It's like, okay, I can't tell which, but they give you colors. <laughs> Um, or you could farm this one if you really want to. I don't know which one gives more points at the moment, but whichever one you have more bonus points, farm that. So let's go right back over to the accessories. So basically, if you are using an SP character, which I guess I should show you exactly what that means. So for example, let's go by this. So we have the new brand new Unahana. She is an SP character. The way you can tell is she has a soul trait by strong attack damage and she also has strong attack recharge. So therefore she wants to use her strong attacks. Another way to tell is her SP. If you have the base SP, it would be higher than the attack. I would have to remove all my links and whatnot. But basically all you would be doing is taking away the extra 500 SP from the rank three since everything else is plus 10. That her SP is higher. So therefore she is an SP character. That, that's basically how I go about it. Mainly the soul trait, but the really old characters have like normal attack damage or damage taken links and you kind of can't really tell sometimes. So that's why. Um, as for Yamamoto, you can tell he is a PvP unit because of look at how high his attack is. He does have a damage taken link, but his attack is so much higher. He is a NAD unit, a normal attack damage character. Um, let's find another NAD unit real quick. Um, so Abirame right here, he has normal attack damage plus 30%. So boom, instantly you should know he is an attack based unit. And if you're curious, you should always get an attack and then focus that in my opinion, that is the best too. You can go attack in defense for like brave battles. But other than that, it's usually always going to be attack focus. And then an SP character is always SP and focus for their slots. And then after that, it doesn't really matter. Um, so how would you gear an SP character? Well, obviously it would depend on their uh, on, on their uh, affiliation and whatnot. So if you would go here, so she's a blue character and then obviously you would want to give her an SP spiritual pressure set. So you go here and uh, as you can see, it's great out for a wrong card killer because she does not have an wrong card killer. She has a, a Soul Reaper killer, but she also has Soul Reaper affiliation. So she would have this as it's highlighted in black lettering. You would give them this. This is the best set right here. This is just for a farming set and it's not even complete for some reason. So you would slap this on. Uh, this one is probably one of the best. Here, let me just hide my face cam just for the rest of the video. This is probably one of the most like universal accessories in the entire game it's just a really good spiritual pressure boost and focus really really good and then the next one for her would be the lieutenant's badge because it is a soul reaper strong attack damage bonus this is mo more, probably one of the most ideal sets in the entire game as for just farming and whatnot but if you are doing pv or a guild quest you would most likely use something like this and then whatever sticker she needs. So if it's Soul Reaper Killer Week, you would use this, the Soul Reaper Killer Guild Quest because she has Soul Reaper affiliation. She has Soul Reaper Killer as well. 
so you would use that one. Uh, when it's Captain Guild Quest Week, there is no Captain sticker, so you would use a Masanga, or you could just use a Fortification Pill. Those are the two best ones. So obviously you can see Killer Effect plus 10%, and then it goes up to plus 30% in Guild Quest. It is very, very effective. Alright, and so now... We can go over the other accessories as well, but let me just go over a Nad character real quick. It's probably the easiest one. I really hate how Caleb made the spiritual pressure sets, just because it's so annoying. There's so many fodder, f like five star accessories. It's very annoying to farm. But as for a melee character like Ishin, he's a very, 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 very good PvP character right now. So let's just go for the red, and then he would be getting attack. Or you could give him defense. I'm just going to go with attack, just because it's easier. Honestly, I think probably full defense on a full invincibility team is probably better, but this is just for an example. So you would give him a, a wooden sword, or another option, by the way, it would probably be... Also, he probably would never use a, one of those. His realistic, like, best accessories would be the gold chappy, the soul reaper sword, and then you can give them another chappy, because as you can see, he will never really use... A damage based soul bomb or anything so his spiritual pressure is reduced to zero but all of his other sets are increased by 30 percent 36 percent and with the regular chappy everything is increased by 30 percent and then he also gets attack plus 30 percent attack plus 30 percent and attack plus 30 percent if you want you can go defense on the subsets for a brave battle and invincibility character but a regular pve normal attack damage character can de should definitely go attack 99 percent of the time this is the car the guitar by the way for curious just go defense on it it's a really good one and that is pretty much it if you do not have the the golden one which i completely understand if you don't you could definitely just use the hollow bait it is not the best but it is definitely a substitute or you could actually just put the guitar in if that's what you prefer but that is pretty much the majority of accessories to be honest for nag characters it's basically just that sp characters it just depends on affiliation so if you go to a different affiliation character like let's say for example the okiora he is a uh, a wrong cart espada affiliation so he would have a different accessory versus the unahana as you can see right here he has a wrong cart and espada gain 50 percent spiritual pressure it's the exact same accessory but just a different form of it so you would have to pull a whole another one for that exact same attribute it was pretty scummy for what they did in terms of the spiritual pressure ones because the uh, melee based ones the attack ones are just golden chappies and that's literally it but yeah pretty this one i would not use um it was just on there just probably because he was farming and i just didn't want to die so we do this go for sp and then let us find the i believe it is a little worm is what it is i can never remember what they look like i hardly ever use this but oh it's the chair um it is the espada chair around cards and the spot is gained 20 percent extra strong attack damage plus 30 percent spiritual pressure this would probably be his best set or if you're using him in guild quest you would use something like this his special move is increased plus 30 percent and then you would give him i think he's is he a wrong car killer or is he no affiliation i cannot remember exact uh hollow killer this is one of his killers so you would probably go something along the lines of this if the enemies in guild quest are hollow that are a hollow affiliation so you'd use hollow killer so then you do an extra plus 40 percent damage if you don't have a sticker you could definitely just use a masanga it does not matter as much it, obviously this one is better because it gives more and i probably went right past the masangas i am just blind i'm sorry you do not need this many accessories by the way this is just how i play i wanted to have one of everything just in case if i ever have to do a showcase i have one of every single accessory so that is pretty much the gist of it. Now let's go over the terrible filler accessories that you will probably never use. Um, whoopsies. So let's go here. Let's include all of them. Sort by level. Descending. So these type of ones, like the food ones, will, you will probably never ever use in your entire life. Stamina ones are okay. These ones, attribute weakness probably never in your entire life just very early on stuff just so you have an accessory uh, pupples are essentially useless they reduce your focus which makes no sense because if you have a lot of focus you have more crit chance and crit damage so there's just no point in these xp ones are okay if you really need them i just 
farm and I don't ever need them, so they're kind of useless, just empty slots. I just haven't sold them. Dodged range damage, useless in my opinion. These are all right, but as you can see, there's a lot of filler in here. Like, if you just scroll through here, I have pretty much every accessory, about four to six times of each, just in case I need them. You probably only need like one to three, to be honest. But as you can see, you don't have any of those terrible fodder food accessories because they just don't do anything. I would gladly just sell them, to be honest. So that is about it. And if you're curious on where you can summon for them, by the way, as I didn't really show that, you will go here. Do not summon with orbs unless you're a whale. And even then, people don't really do them because the rates are kind of shit. Um, but as you can see, I've been farming for quite a while. I realistically have just saved up for about five months now at this point just not really spending i do a hundred multi every once in a while just to get the addiction out of the way i hit 10,000 premium accessory ticks the other day i went through 4,000, got about two five stars so i'm just going to cut the video here and once i get a five star i'll come back and just show you what i got and that'll be the end of the video all right is the final multi not a single five star <sighs> Also, I never actually did this, but let me show you exactly how you can reroll this. So basically what you would end up wanting to do is you would find an accessory, you would five star it by using hearts. That's usually what I do. Just farm all of them from point of it. Or you can buy them from the store, I guess, with gold, but they're quite spendy. Same thing for these. I just farm them from the from point of it. Then you would strengthen them again, get them to five star uh, level 50, and then you can reroll the basic stat, um, a run card, probably gonna be either attack or spiritual pressure sorry for no sound by the way not the defense let's just go with spiritual pressure that's probably what i'll use the most and then i just do 100 times of editing brushes and i got shafted all 100 of them that's very cool thankfully i'm not too dependent on brushes at this moment but i know back in the day when i was far did i set it a stamina or something Ain't no way you're going to make me go 300, right? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. 221 brushes. But uh, that is how you farm it. This one just guarantees a 3-star. It doesn't guarantee you a certain one, so do keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care, and hopefully this guide helped you on how you should gear certain characters. Chappies. Uh, I mean, Pupples and the other one. The... Is it just Pupples? I can't remember. They're complete shit. It's the other, f the other golden one. I'm pretty sure I went over it, but I just want to reiterate that they're absolute horseradish. Oh, Yukis. Yeah, these suck. These suck. Same thing with these. So, peace.